Okay. Oh. Whoa. Ah. To the top of the nose. Ah. Yes. Keep going. Nice. Okay. I love that. Oh. Oh, oh, I think he's got stuck. The machine works by transferring an impulse from one place to another, sustained by the input of energy. There are lots of different moving parts, each following the laws of physics. And together they keep the impulse moving. Is it going to be enough? Yeah. <laughs> Stephen Hawking's machine of life. Ooh. So what has this got to do with us? What do you think? Reset it in order? Let's try and reset it, and maybe that will help us figure out. Yeah. One thing always leads to another. So one process has to happen before another process happens. Like, certain circumstances have to occur before something can move forward. It helped to show me that everything has a cause and effect. It reminded me all about chain reactions. So I guess we need a cause and effect, and everything has to build up and up and up. Can we give it a go? Let's give it a go. Go. I think it might have broken. No, oh, no, 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 okay. no it's going. Okay. It's going. Oh. Oh. Oh, go on. Go. Nice. <laughs> Did we reset it correctly? It was a really powerful demonstration of how all those processes work together. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no. You've got all these different things that to create one result. It's gone premature. Well, that's OK. That's OK. My machine is actually a very simple version of what is going on inside your body. This is what you look like on a microscopic scale. And it really is quite incredible. Where my machine features dominoes and pool balls, your body has molecules, chains of atoms of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and other elements. You are made of billions of tiny machines, all triggering each other. You are a giant chain reaction machine.